Mandatory conscript soldier, junior sergeant Arman Sarkisyan sustained on Monday a fatal gunshot wound in an Armenian combat position located in the eastern part of the Armenia-Azerbaijan border zone. According to preliminary data, the soldier has been killed from a shot fired by Azerbaijan in the Armenian Defense Ministry reported. Materials on this incident are being prepared at the Garrison Investigative Department. The sixth Starmus, one of premier world-class science and art festivals, kicked off in September on Yerevan, Armenia, to celebrate science with world-class scientists, engineers, artists, and astronauts. The program of Starmus 6 is filled with science and technology, music and arts, world-class artists, and prominent scientists. The program is rich and includes all aspects of natural science. Conferences, speeches, presentations, and other events are a part of the program. Russian President Vladimir Putin will discuss with Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan the Nagorno-Karabakh settlement on the sidelines of the Eastern Economic Forum, presidential aide Yuri Ushakov told reporters, TASS reported. The subject of the Nagorno-Karabakh settlement is expected to be discussed. Russia continues to fully assist in the normalization of relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan on the basis of trilateral agreements of the leaders. The Russian peacekeeping contingent ensures security in the region, Ushakov said. The sides will also discuss key aspects of Russian-Armenian relations, including prospects for boosting trade and economic cooperation. In the first seven months of this year, a total of 20,963 crimes were registered in Armenia, which is an increase by 5,237 or by 33% compared to the same period last year, the Statistics Committee reported. In particular, crimes against a person have increased by 1,562 or by 70% in Armenia. Murders went up from 33 to 163, an increase of about five times. Crimes against public security, public order and public health health increased by 2,669 or by 81 percent. Crimes against property went up 444 or by 5.5 percent. Crimes against Armenian state authorities, service and system of administration increased by 234 or by about 16 percent. But corruption crimes decreased by 71 or by 13 percent in Armenia. The Turkish company Baykar Makina will start delivering Bayraktar TB2 combat drones to Poland next month. This was announced by the CEO of this UAV manufacturing company, Haluk Bayraktar, Anadolu Agency reported. Last May, Poland ordered four Bayraktar TB2 systems. According to Haluk Bayraktar, there are changes in the development of Bayraktar TB2s for Poland. Accordingly, there are differences in the data link systems and radar payloads. A Moscow Koran Monday revoked the print license of independent newspaper Novaya Gazeta, whose chief editor last year was co-awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. The Basmani Court of Moscow invalidated the registration certificate of the print version of Novaya Gazeta, the outlet said on social media. Novaya Gazeta's chief editor, Dmitry Muratov, told reporters that the court decision was political. The newspaper was killed today, Novaya Gazeta said Monday in an official statement following the court ruling. Russia's media watchdog Roskomnadzor had previously said Novaya Gazeta failed to provide its editorial statute within a required time frame. Novaya Gazeta suspended publication in March following a crackdown on independent media amid the Kremlin's war in Ukraine. Some of its staff left Russia and launched a new edition from Europe. Elizabeth Truss, a 47-year-old Tory activist who wants to be considered the new Iron Lady, has been elected the new leader of the Conservative Party of the UK and, accordingly, the head of the UK government. Promises to reduce taxes and calls for stopping Russian President Vladimir Putin, BBC reports. Truss will formally take over as Prime Minister following an appointment by the Queen expected on Tuesday. In mid-August, Liz Truss, according to one of the polls, defeated her rival in the race for the post of head of the Conservative Party Rishi Sunak with a crushing score, 60% of the polled party members for her, 28% for Sunak. The winner of this election, where only members of the currently ruling party vote, automatically becomes the head of the British government. Liz Truss is similar to the determined and ideological conservative leader that Thatcher was, and Truss herself tries to subtly remind of this similarity. <music> 